Never too late.
I don't know. It's too scary for me. It's poppycock. Don't worry about it. I don't know. I don't believe it. It's just a show. Seeing is believing. Hey, where's Donna? But she couldn't handle it. She and Ed took a walk in the middle of the mass. Never mind then. Where's our tour guide? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Maybe the zombies <laughs> kidnapped him. <laughs> don't make jokes. This is serious. We're all alone here. God knows where. Yeah. Where is that character? This place is giving me the creeps. I am telling you, honey, it was only a show. Show? I know what I saw. Here you are, Reverend. This is for the church collection box. Thank you, Mr. Jones. But we just aren't getting as many visitors as we're used to. Yes, I'm aware of that, Mr. Jones. I'm sorry to hear that, Reverend. Do not concern yourself, Mr. Jones. The gods will provide me with other means. Best you go look after our guests. Right you are, Reverend. Mr. Jones. Take this to help you guide your way. Thank you, Reverend. Good night. Farewell, Mr. Jones. Farewell. What was that? Simply the cry of a jungle bird, my dear. Where did he come from? Now, my friends, I'd best get you back to the boat in time for dinner. This Let's way, please. go. Let's get out of here. Someone please get those torches, please. Careful, watch your steps. Accident, I'm afraid. What kind of an accident? I'm sure I don't know, but our driver seemed to have disappeared. Hey, wait a minute, what's that? Uh, uh, the foggiest. Hey, Buster, are you supposed to stand around here all night? The driver seems to have taken off. Uh, hey, Chumley, the keys are in here. Let's go. Of course, of course. That's silly of me, huh? <laughs> That's for sure. Come on, all everybody. aboard, let's go. Everything ship shape shortly. Explains what? Somebody took the distributor cap. Well, I must have taken it with him. Yeah? Why? So no one would steal the bus. Uh-huh. We need to do any good to hot wire. Hot wire? Just take my word for it. Without a distributor cap, we'd never get this thing moving. <laughs> well, then there's only one thing for it. What? There's a phone booth just down the road. I'll have to go ahead and call for help. Hey, Paul, what's going on? I'll be with you in a minute. Listen, this is your tour, Mr. Jones. You got us here, you got us out. Oh, yes, 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 of course, of course. That would be the thing to do, wouldn't it? Right. Get with it. Sure. Oh, 
Okay, what's the hold up, huh? It looks like the driver hurt himself somehow. He must have gone to get help for himself. What's wrong with the motor? The driver took the distributor cab with him. What on earth for? So the natives wouldn't steal the bus. That's obvious. So what are we supposed to do now? Our charming guy has gone down the road to use the payphone. I knew something terrible was going to happen. Nothing terrible has happened. Ever since they started playing around with those dead bodies. This is frightful. How was he service, I say. I'm perfectly happy right here. Hmm, I heard that. Hey, listen, while everybody's carrying on, what happened to the newlyweds? Ed and Donna. Oh, they probably oh, I completely oh, forgot wow. about them. Yeah, they probably should look for them. Oh, I hope they're all right. I'm sure they're they're Don't worry about them. Why not? Mm -hmm. Roy. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Who you study with, Adler? What? Steve? Steve? He went down the road. Down the road? You have to see what's keeping the tour man. Oh, yeah, sorry. Still drowsy. That must be him now. <laughs> what's the story? No story. What do you mean? I mean no tour guide. And the payphone was ripped up. Here he goes. So there's nothing. Only this. His hat. And no chumley what's his name to go with it. I just knew something awful was going to happen. You know, there's something fishy about all this. Yeah, voodoo magic, maybe. Hey, honey, don't make jokes. Sorry. Right, we've already lost two people. Plus the driver. And now the tour guide's abandoned us. So, what do we do now, Mr. Big? Beats the hell out of me. Not my kind of decision. Why doesn't everybody just relax? It's supposed to be a fun picnic, remember? We can always contact the voodoo people. Not on your life. And there's one thing I'm certainly not doing. What's that? Spending my night cooped up on this stupid bus. Yeah, this place getting creepy about a minute. Wait a minute. There's always the house. What house? That villa a couple miles down the road? Didn't see any villa. That's because you don't have my fine painter's eye. It's on the mountain. Hey, maybe they have a phone. Yeah, maybe they don't. Listen, Joe. Anything's better than just sitting here. The zombies coming to life over there? No, thank you. Hey, hold your horses. Maybe we'll be better off waiting here until morning. How many people want to stay here tonight, or how many want to try and get to the house? No way. No way. No way. No way. I agree with Joe. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. I agree with Joe. Let's try it again, this time with the hands. No, Thing. George, not with Joe. Listen, some zombie touched my throat. What puts my heart? We go with the majority. Okay, that's it. All hands, let's go. Why me? Angel, you're the one who saw the villa. You lead the way. Let's watch your footing. Okay, you behind. It's kind of treacherous. Oh, I'm right here. Right here. Hey, what's happening? I've seen what else we can use. This should come in handy for chopping a trail or something. Yeah, something like a zombie. <laughs> Ah, here's a first aid kit, in case we have to patch him up again. That's it? No, hold it. Ah. 
There's another light. Oh, yeah, this will light the way for the honeymooners. Great. Hurry up, okay? Step, okay? Here, let me have this back. Oh, what's wrong? The honeymooners. We got... We got to try and tell them how to find the house. Well, how do we do that? I'll leave instructions. Anybody got some paper? Yeah, I do. Oh, oh good. I'll take this. Sure. You sure you want to go back there? I'm sure I don't want them on my conscience. Okay, well, we'll take Be it careful. slow, all right? Don't worry about right, it. It's only one draw. All right. Hey, what happened? I've got my perfect potato boots. <laughs> that is not funny. Do you think they'll find right. What's so funny about the aunt and this giant? I thought it was funny. Jump. That's what happened. It was hiding on the bus. That son of a bitch hit me like a ton of bricks. Who was it? Who the hell knows? The voodoo people. Sandy, he got voodoo of the mind. Well, who else? Well, maybe it was that driver. Maybe he went off his rocker or something. It looked like a weed hit to me right from the start. It wasn't a driver. A zombie, perhaps? Yeah, you tell me. What's that? I chopped it off and... Whatever it is. Maybe one of them savages. It looks like a bird or a bear. Look, it doesn't matter who right now. All I know is homicidal. You read me? It was trying to kill me. Got it? Okay. So where in the hell is this house of yours? As a matter of fact, it's right up there. They at least could have put a white man in there. Oh, George, this is no time for jokes. Laughter's the best medicine. The reader's digest says so. George, you're incorrigible. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's try to make it, all right? Directly behind you. Almost there now. Maybe we'd be better off on our own. This bunch is jinx. Suit yourself, Matt. With me, it's safety in numbers.
Jesus, some people. Stop complaining. You nearly took my eye out. Only thing putting your eye out is that pretty young butt up front there. What the hell are you talking about? Matt. Matt. I'm running out of steam here. What do you want, up or down? Come on, up or up or. Good. Thanks, honey. Brother, you know. Hold a sec. Well, what's the problem now? I'm not sure. Wait a yeah, skunk cabbage. Yeah, it smells like rotten eggs. No, rotten meat. I smell it back at the bus. It's following us. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Let's not panic. Hey, we're almost there. The house can't be but another quarter of a mile or so down the path. Yeah! guys go up to the house and get help if you can. Well, what about you? I'll stay here with him until you get back. Yeah, what about... Get going. I'll hold it for you. Okay? okay, folks. Paul and George are going to take a little rest here. The rest go to the house and get help. Okay? I'm not leaving him. I'll look after him.
What happened? An accident. Helen and Jerry, they went under, slipped, I think. You think? It was hard to tell. Listen, Helen was almost over to the other side, and then suddenly she was falling in the water. Yeah, and Jerry dove in to help her. What's the matter? Didn't they see something over there? Oh, Paul, it happened so quickly. It was over like that. Hey, Joe, hey... What? No! Man, it's so dark, I can't see... <laughs> Take it easy, honey. I can't take much more of this. Both of them? Yeah. What do we do? We can't leave them there. We can't. Unless it's your suicide. But who was it? Did you see what it was? Yeah. Must have been some kind of crazy. Human or not. Listen, let's get to the house first, then decide what to do, okay? Yeah, right. You two go ahead. You're going to stay back there and cover our asses. Well, now, Matt, you better cover your own ass. What's that supposed to mean? It means that something out there is after us. you got to be kidding. What did we do to anybody? Yeah, who knows? It doesn't seem to matter. Paul tell them. It's George and Ethel. They're both dead. Murdered. <gasps> oh, my. First Helen and Jerry, and now George and Ethel. Somebody out there wants us all dead. Sure. You want to stay and check it out? Keep going, baby. Matt, take it easy. You yeah, will take it easy as soon as we get to this house up there. Whoa, we better think this one over. Why? Why? Because that nutcase may be operating out of the house. Yeah, who knows? But right now, he's behind us across the river there, so... So we check out the house, okay? Okay. I knew we never should have come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexico would have been so much nicer. She had all those greasers with their guitars. I love the Right. Oh, the house. 
up. Now we can get to the top. Anybody home? If Igor answers, I'm uh, leaving. Igor? You know, Igor, Dr. Frankenstein's butler. Sick. <laughs> no, not sick. Just play. <laughs> Civilization. Looks like everybody left in a hurry. If they left. And what's that supposed to mean? They could all be dead in their bed upstairs. <laughs> well, they could, couldn't they? Yeah. Paul, let's check it out. Keep an eye on the girls, okay? Okay. Just like a Girl Scout. Always prepared. Huh? Thank you. Let's see if we can find some water. Upstairs. Ladies, I'll take care of this. Everybody is missing the point. Oh, and what's that? Well, I think we should be trying to get in touch with someone to tell them what's happening to us. Here's some more news, good and bad. First, the bad news. No telephone calls. That's out. And now, the good news. <laughs> now we got some real protection. Where the hell did you find that? Out in the backyard. 
So they had a shootout here. I told you they could all be dead. Is that thing loaded? Yeah, but only two rounds. Please, Joe, be careful. Don't worry, I've been handling guns all my life. Is that a fact? That is a fact. Can I take a look? If you're gonna wear it like that, you better keep it like this. An accident won't make Sandy very happy. Are you for that? Huh? Oh no! Terrific. Damn it. Just what you need. <laughs> Old places like this, they are usually on generators. We better check the basement. You people be okay. Are you kidding with this cannon? <laughs> Come on, Joe. This is not high noon. Please put that away until we really have reason to use it. All right. Took Anthropology 35, you ought to know. How do you spell it? Well, it's anthro, and then it's. P O P H A G Y. Cannibalism. What? Oh my god. There's a whole shelf here. German, French, and Italian, and all on cannibalism. Hey, you know, you're right. And what do they say? Different strokes for different... Joe! Hey. What's wrong? That awful smell, it's back again. Jesus, I forgot to lock the door! <laughs>
one shot. Fast as quick as light. Goodbye, 38. Goodbye, Joe, too. The bad guy's got it now. You want to go up against him with just that? No way. I'll never see him again. He was always playing tricks on me. Little boy tricks. It was scary sometimes, but always fun. We'd fight and, and, and make up, but it, it was just a big game between us. I can't believe it was the last time. I just can't, and it's not fair. And I won't believe it. I need you, Joe. Maybe he'll turn up. Turn up? What, like the others? Lying in a filthy pit, skin like a rabbit? Oh, he was such a sweet guy. Like a little boy. But he was really sweet. <laughs> Ruth, I'll get the lights. Slug Larry. You want to be a hero? No, oh, thanks. How about you? No way, man. Oh, what else is there? Court calling. <laughs> Zombie. <laughs> you mean fried zombie. I certainly hope it works. How are you coming? Okay, I'm set. Uh, screw this. serious about you very serious lucky me for all this is Caribbean isn't it boy meets girl vice versa 
I meant about fried zombies. Listen, I don't know what to believe anymore. Walking corpses, zombies, bacchus, whatever. What do you think, Paul? Up to now, all the monsters I've seen has been human. I give anything. <laughs> One round left. Yeah, too bad he didn't have time to use it. That's how we do. You say, friend? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm, I'm tracking that critter that just bust out of here. You get him? No, no, no. He, he moves faster than lightning. But I will eventually, though. Okay. Come up. But nice and slow. Oh, I'll, 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 the only way I can take it. <laughs> yeah, I've been Mickey Mousing around these jungles for the past two or three days. What have you been doing out there? I told you. I've been tracking that thing or things. Name's uh, Whitney. Elliot Whitney. I had a house over there, the other side of the valley. You had a house? Yeah, he burned me out. It's custom around here, it seems. Me, I'm from, I'm from Boston originally. I retired down here to get away from those New England winters. What did I get instead, huh? Well, what did you get? Um, trouble, trouble. There's nothing but trouble. From the from the critic? Uh, kill my wife. Murder my partner. Who did that? Uh, political terrorists, uh, Indians crazy on ganja weed, or maybe some prehistoric tribe. Uh, beats me. Uh, uh, bloodthirsty's all I know, miss. Uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Whitney. Yeah. This is Sandy. This is Connie. Uh -huh. Ladies. <laughs> well, you uh, boys plan to spend the night out here? Oh, okay. There you go. Where's Joe? Uh, still no sign of him. I don't understand, Steve. Of us came up from the port for the voodoo mass. 
And ever since then, it's been nothing but trouble. Are these murderers, these monsters, are they cannibals? Well, I, uh, where the devil did you get that idea? Because the bookcase in there is full of books on cannibalism. Oh, well, well I'll tell you. When Columbus first arrived here, these islands were inhabited by the Arawak Indians. They were peaceful types. But then they were invaded by the carriage. They came up from Colombia and Venezuela. They were fierce, bloodthirsty types. They swept through the islands of Cuba and Haiti and Jamaica, all the islands that we know today as the Caribbeans. And the language that they spoke was caravan. Latin form for caravan is cannibal, <laughs> the flesh eaters. Well, that's what the, the Caribbeans really were. Uh, well, I don't know what to say about it for today, but frankly, I don't even like to think about it. Uh, is, is there some place here that I can wash up a bit? Sure, I'll show you. And the next thing you know, he's burning down your house. As you've learned, there's a lot of things that are at issue here. There! Look! <laughs> what the hell do we do now? Hide in the jungle. Oh, it wouldn't work. Why not? Well, they're expert trackers. They ferret us out in no time. What else is there? Ambush! Are you kidding? There's a million miles of jungle out True, there. True, but we know where they are now, down by the road. And to get here, they'll have to cross the river. Now, human or subhuman, they'll take the shortest route. And especially since you wounded one. Okay, let's get organized. Come on, Sandy. Here, 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 you take these. Yeah, yeah, I, you're in better shape than I am to handle the blunderbuss. Out this way. Listen, we can't waste any time. Exactly. You've got to get to the river first. You go ahead. I'll hide us in the underbrush. You sure? Positive. Sandy? I'll go with the two of you. Okay, we'll come back for you after it's over. I love you, Angel. Now, what the 
hell is going on here? Oh, my dear girl, it's all very involved. So uninvolved, it's spell it out. Well, on the last shipment from Bogota, my business associates, our local erstwhile friends, they resorted to the classic faux barri. The what? Double cross. And then this, he paid off the Colombians in counterfeit. And then he and his pooter girlfriend planned to skip with the real green. And so what happened? Well, the cowboys, they burned them out. They turned them into shop meat. Uh, those, those savages, they come up in the middle of the night and toss a couple of Molotov cocktails. Then swoosh, a, a lifetime of work goes up in smoke and flame. Here, everybody has to handle his own problem. We got no fire department. Uh, but that was the last problem Hernandez and his whore had to face. That's only half of it. And the other half? Well, there's, there's an informant on your end in New York. When the Colombians got a tip that someone in this tour group had the cash on this trip, they sent up a hit squad. So I wasn't thinking to write Oh, absolutely not. They just simply started eliminating you one by one and then searching through the bags for the payment. And what's the drill now? <laughs> Business as usual, my dear. But what about all that needless hocking up of all those people? My dear girl, it's all part of the subculture. Women, children, and even babies are not immune to their revenge or, or instruction. Plus the fact that I imagine that mm, someone employed some torture. Who's got the goodies and all of that? I don't find it amusing. Oh, no. Well, my dear girl, it's all part of the total scene. There's fun and games and good times. <laughs> Isn't that what it's all about, huh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Just give me a second. It seems that you're a bit out of condition, my dear. <laughs> this hit squad, Whitney, why do they smell so awful? <laughs> Why, it, it, it's rotten bark and, and, and trees and, and slimy jungle things. And it's a concoction that they smear on themselves so they smell like rotting corpses. <laughs> Certainly isn't Chanel, is it? Oh, oh, oh you're, you're beginning to feel a little better, I see. Huh? Well, it, it's true, but it, it keeps the local primitives at arm's length and it reminds them of their zombies. And it keeps them at distance. <laughs> it's really quite amusing, though. <laughs> You've got a great sense of humor, Whitney. <laughs> I'll die laughing. Uh, I, I rather doubt it. Hernandez and this whore certainly didn't. I'll beat him to it. Okay, it's crossfire. All right, Sandy, you get behind Paul, all right? Come on. Come on. Come on. Agency looking for connection. Us. Like ten little 
Indians only one left you have Sandy Sandy Your friends. Those animals have been following us all night. I trust that everything has been properly settled. I hate loose ends. Be careful, my dear. Well, you certainly seem at home. I ought to. This is my house. But the fire, you said. Ah, that, that was Hernandez. Cocaine cowboys. They wanted me alive and well. At least until I completed the last transaction. You have it? Of course. Well, let me see it. Let's see the candy first. Ah, <laughs> you are a tough customer. <laughs> I've always been a great believer of Edgar Allan Poe. The purloined leather, you know. You want to hide something, you hide it in plain sight. Have no fear, it's top grade. Number nine, rock. Yeah, but you're supposed to have enough for ten mules to haul back to the States. After I see your end, my dear. Five million US. Twenty-five million on your end. Ah, but I'm the one taking the chance getting it back to New York. Ah, back to your little disco Texan. Play pens. <laughs> My dear friend, don't knock it if you don't know it. Of course not, my dear. Shakuno Sanku. Right this way, my dear girl. Uh, now just keep your eye on it. Very efficient. <laughs> Efficiency is the key to industry and profit. Steve, startle me. Yeah. I'll bet. Where are the others? Back out there, dead. We were ambushed, just like your friend, your plan. <laughs> My dear young fellow, you give me too much credit. Steve, please, put that thing away. You don't need it here, we're all friends. That money makes strange bedfellows. Young man, this is strictly a business transaction. For how much? A, a, a few hundred thousand. Is that all? Twelve people dead for a few hundred thousand? I, I'm not a generous man, young fellow. And now that you're with us, I'd be delighted to share with you. Uh, but, but I owe it to you, Lillard. Since you've done away with those animals that have been hounding me. Stop running, baby. Because I got news for you. Feds are. Next one's for you. Are you crazy? You just killed that poor man. Poor man, my ass. Another greedy pig like you. I'm not talking thousands, I'm talking millions. Good to hear. Tell Paul and Sandy and all the others dead out there. Forget about them. I had nothing to do with that. Can't you think of the living and the living that we can do together? Living? 
What about the loving? Wasn't that part of the package too, Angel? The loving, of course it is. You just told me you loved me not only an hour ago. Could I have possibly changed so much in so little time? No, you haven't changed. I have. Constantly, please don't kill me. Kill you? That's not my plan. What are you going to do with me? Turn you in, sweetheart. A dealer like you, it should only be 20 years to life. Steve, that's not fair. I'm not playing a sap for you anymore, Angel. I'm frightened, Steve. You didn't mind leading us up here. I can't help it. I'm scared now, please. Don't worry. Both sides were wiped out except for you and me. Steve, please. Get moving. Look, whatever happens, I want you to know one thing. That I really love you. Okay, maybe in the beginning I was, I, I was playing you along, but the way you stood up tonight. I gotta hand it to you. And you lie, you lie beautifully. Oh God, no, not a lie. The truth, maybe for the first time in my life. And for whatever it's worth to you, I really did fall in love with you. Whatever happened in that house had nothing to do with you or me. I, I really need you in my life. Told you the gods would provide. Now, Mr. Jones will escort you back to your boat. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> this way, folks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jones Tours welcomes you. And I, Reginald Chomley Jones, your tour guide, welcome you personally. Our tour today. Oh, you have a tour also? Yes, this way, please. Our tour today will take us to one of the most fascinating islands of the beautiful Caribbean. I think I can safely promise you a tour you'll never forget. There'll be sights you've never experienced before, thrills you've never experienced before. Of all the visitors who come to these parts, you are to be congratulated above all. You are men and women of great taste and discrimination who spurn the artificial, who demand the genuine, the real thing. You have demanded the real thing, and you shall have it! 